I don't know exactly how long it's been, but all I know is that at some point, every so often, there's a calling in my soul, and that calling says, Matthew, it's time to revisit songs from My Little Pony. I don't even know how many videos I've done on MLP at this point. It's several, and I'll give my regular warning, even though it doesn't really seem to help, I still get these comments anyway, but I have listened to This Day Aria. <laughs> I've watched the first couple of seasons, maybe like half of season three, I'm, I'm not sure. So there's a bunch of really popular songs that I've already heard. This Day Aria is one of them. I've listened to This Day Aria. I know the song This Day Aria. It won't be in this video, nor is it in any other video of My Little Pony, because I have listened to this day aria. <laughs> Y'all may think that that was excessive, but trust me, there will still be an unironic comment asking where this day aria is, I swear to you. Anyway, enough about my intense issues, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like doing these videos is always just such a lovely fun time, the songs are so nice, they leave me feeling in a good mood, so you better believe I am all ready, excited, and ready for the first song. Before we start though, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing, there's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server which you should join, I would love to see you there. It's also the best place to vote on what videos I'm gonna react to next. So. You know, that, that's the selling point. So to really get us into that feel-good mood, the first song is called Friends Are Always There For You. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm ready. Wait, maybe I'ma feel stupid if I'm wrong. I could, I could be. Wasn't she, wasn't she bad? I feel like I remember her being the like, let, let's be real, cult leader of a town. Is that her? Maybe this is like, after some sort of redemption. But I'm pretty sure it's her. She had like the re-education camps and everything where people got sent away, be like, oh, you aren't behaving right and being happy enough. Get yourself to the re-education camp. I will feel like at least a little bit guilty if it's, if it's not her, but uh. I never thought that I would find a place it, uh, to step right in and start again. I Okay, so, okay, I'm just gonna stick with me maybe being right about th th being the same character again. I'll feel real stupid if not, but is she singing about, like, her motivation for having that cult town? Because <laughs> she always felt ostracized or something, so she made a place that was perfect. I never thought that I could just begin. Just begin to what? Right where I left off. Right where... So I'm get uh, like it sounds like it's about the positive influence that a circle of support can have and how people can change. Don't ever think that it might be too late. I just always forget that I really like Twilight's voice. Don't have to wait. There's no mistakes with the friends you make. Oh, also that's really cute. It's like this idea of it never being too late to make positive changes. The It almost feels like she thinks she doesn't deserve this. Right, oh, they're so accepting, that's cute. <laughs> Pinkie Pie just like crash tackle hugging. Just use your eyes. I love how they're all marching and Pinkie's just bouncing. Just don't disguise who you are inside. Oh, okay. I was so interested as to where that lyric was gonna go. It's like, use your eyes, no lies, okay? Don't you dare tell any lies and don't you disguise who you are inside. I thought it was gonna be like, don't disguise your deep, dark lies as truths, okay? Because your friends are always oh, I like the way it picks up the pace. You don't have to be the same for to be true. Oh, 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 okay, you don't have to be, Right, I'm pretty sure then it's, it is her because they're like, you don't have to be the same for it to be true. And that's what she was trying to do. She was just trying to make everyone like exactly the same and behave exactly the same. And now it seems like she's learning that differences aren't just like, okay, they're a positive thing. Because your friends are always there for you. My Little Pony just has this habit. My foot is like tapping. That's not, that's, that's not how a foot moves, but that's fine. You know, my feet are just hands on my legs. I'm, I'm, I, Sometimes I regret the fact that I film the words I say back to the song. Around the world it's still the same. Together you have more to gain. <laughs> it's just so cute seeing her be so positive and happy. Everywhere you go. It is the town. Called it as though, you know, I didn't just already see the character before. Friends can change the world you see. 
Oh, are we gonna see like their characteristics now? That is a that is a banging beat. Those drums are so cool. Lovely high note, wonderful harmony at the end. Also, I mean, like, if she ever needed proof that friends can change the world, I mean, they do it constantly. Why does this feel like a finale? That's like <laughs> all those characters just looking up at the camera as it slowly zooms out. It feels like, and the credits roll, and that's the end of My Little Pony. It's definitely not, because I heard the ending song, and it made me sad. I'm glad that I was right on two counts. One, it is that lady, the, the, the cult leader. I've just, oh my God, how did I never realize the pun of Cult. Cult leader. How did I never make that joke? I'm ashamed of myself for both not thinking of that before and for thinking of that pun now. And there was a second thing that I was gonna say before. I said that I'm... Um, two things that I was right about. What the hell was the other thing? Oh, did, 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 did I said it was a feel-good song. That's right. Ha! I'm glad that I was right about that because if I'd just been like, yeah, let's get on the feel-good train, let's go, y'all, and then it, just, it was a character, like, singing about how depressed they were and, the, like, their family had died or something. You know, the regular My Little Pony content. <laughs> I paused for too long and had a bit of my orange juice and completely forgot what I was saying. I, mean, I was in the middle of a sentence, maybe. So, uh, we're just gonna move on to the next one, okay? It's called One Small Thing, and this is from the movie. So it's like My Little Pony, the movie. I've listened to one or two songs from the movie, and I remember them being good, so I'm ready. I also forgot that they had like a way more dramatic tone. He's Wait. Are they under water? Hey now, don't be sad, I know. Is, is 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 that a a sea seahorse like a sea sea a pony sea ho horse? Did not did not know that was a thing. Uh, also, you know, kind of kind of freaky deaky the stuff they're doing with the uh, with the clams there. You know, uh, wait, are they moving their mouth? Or? We cannot stay. Their mouth is like full. Wait, it's it's pinky as a. <gasps> What? I think that even if I had like like three hours to sit here and just write out what I thought was gonna happen, the visuals I was gonna see, I don't think seahorses or the, of the main six would be on that list at all. I can't. I can't tell if I hate it. I know you have important things, so it's okay. Just go. I don't like self pity like that. Do it, you, you know. So, uh, how are they trying to help? Them. One small thing doesn't seem like a lot. Um, uh, th they're talking about the impact that like an action can have. Soon one small thing becomes two, after two, perhaps another thing. Oh, that's cute. It feels like maybe this character is struggling with, I don't know, getting through tasks or they're just overwhelmed by some big task they have to do. And Pinky is essentially saying like, hey, don't think about it as like one giant, big, horrifying, overwhelming thing you have to do. Think of it like one task because the first task is what matters. And maybe, maybe you keep going. I mean, maybe you don't, maybe, maybe that's fine. Maybe you just keep rolling on though and get all this stuff done. Honestly, pretty sound advice. And I didn't learn it from this, but it is how I manage my time a lot. All right now, since you're here, let's see. What we can do. So she's trying to find one thing to do. <laughs> the fish looks so weird, but I love them. Wait, play the bubble. Fish, like this one a lot. Wait, play the bubble. <laughs> are they, are they instruments? Oh no, they just make bubbles. So yeah, what is this like swing music going on? I love it. And the way they're flowing on those harmonies. There are so many different instruments here. A tall thing. <laughs> They're so cute, oh my god. I, this, uh, this started off weird and kept getting weirder. Ultimately though, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it's just, it's just confusing. Man, I really love when Pinky does her like, I don't know, like stronger, almost belty notes. One, one small 
Oh, we're getting a little breakdown. You and me, we started something great. She has a lovely voice. All the happy sights and sounds. Okay, again, this is also feel good. I'm 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 happy. I just wish there was one small thing to do for her. She just wants to repay the favor. Pinky's like, well, actually. Okay, wow, that like choir going on? God damn. I think one thing that's fun about doing songs from the movies is that it feels like the visuals just have like a bigger budget. I mean, they probably do, but they go crazy with some of the animation and the animation style. We get to see things done bigger and more intense. And honestly, it just gets super impressive. Not that the show also doesn't get really impressive, but you know what I mean? I don't know if it's just me, but every time I think about the fact that there were like people sitting down animating that, and that was like, uh, it's hard to like remember that that's the case. We just get this like end result and I'm like, yes, this is a thing that has always existed and will always exist. Nobody made this. <laughs> but thinking about the process is mind-blowing, even like that composition of everything. I also just love how impressed by all this I am. It makes listening to these songs so fun and such a joy. The next song isn't from the movie, but it is from a special. I actually hadn't heard of this special before I saw the title to this video, but it's called Living in Color, and it's from Rainbow Road Trip. I'm guessing that it's based around Rainbow Dash, maybe. Oh, can make this rainbow festival better. The animation looks slightly different. Am I, am I tripping? What? No. A trout DJ! A what DJ? A trout DJ. How is he a DJ if he's just playing the harmonica, Pinky? Oh my god, what, that made me jump? That's a party is it a party cannon? What? We're living in color. I thought they didn't want carrier. Okay, her wings. There is so much going on here, y'all. <laughs> Why, why are they all, all colorful? I love it, she looks fantastic. But they're like, no, not more karaoke, let's sing. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and into the light. Yo, I love the minimalist beat at the moment. All the colors you are, or any color that piano is fire. That your mind can see and wear them bright. Why does this feel like it's gonna hit so hard? I just feel I'm in the building. And white. No need to the strings. I mean, they work so well with Rarity's voice. <laughs> it just feels right. Okay, I thought it would hit a bit harder, but I don't mind the subtle drop. We'll in color. I mean, they just always absolutely demolish the harmonies. Why am I ever expecting anything less? Make up any colors that you can devise. Mix them up, watch the joy as it multiplies. Oh, mix up, mix up any color. I was like, make up any colors? How the hell would I make up a color? Make a rainbow when you will see how together we are like one when we harmonize. Yeah, well, uh, they, the way that they just like bring those harmonies out of nowhere, like they let the vocals have their solo moments and then just like uppercut you with harmonies. It's so good. Cause when we- <laughs> She's gonna get a little spider on her head, oh my god. Dude, I would love this with a full EDM backing track, oh my god. I like the addition of a little snare drum there. Was that there in the last one? I don't know. Hello, my friend. It's a big, bright yellow. Violet's what you get. I was about to say, why do they all look... Oh, they're, they're gonna form a rainbow. In the mood, in the groove, indigo. <laughs> I was wondering how they were gonna slip indigo in there. Orange can amaze, bringing days that... This is so weird to see them all separated like this. But then I guess they're gonna put them all together in a rainbow, right? I love the half time, oh my god. Color. They keep changing the harmonies too. Yeah, what the hell is with the hot air balloon? And oh, they look sad too. We're all in they look so sad, what? In They're like celebrities now, right? <laughs> in that was so wild. Well, I'm glad nothing's changed. We haven't had any characters singing about their family dying or whatever. It's all been happy, all been feel good. I am living, I feel, 
Do you know how silly I feel sometimes doing these videos and just getting so giddy because of like, like kids show music but it's just I'm exposed to so much of this now it just infects me I love it it makes me so happy because it is just so intensely positive now the last song I'm gonna listen to today should be like a pleasant surprise for y'all to be honest because I thought I'd already listened to it it's one of the most popular songs of the show but I realized I haven't heard it or at least I don't, I don't think I have I guess I've done a lot of these videos over a long span of time so I guess there's a chance that I did this in an earlier one, but I really don't think so. It's called What My Cutie Mark Is Telling Me. It's like right at the end of season three too, so I probably assumed I'd already listened to it because I thought I'd watched all of season three, but I've only watched like half so. This is also like a treat for me. Oh, I vaguely remember hearing about an episode where their cutie marks got swapped. Something strange is going on. Can't a lot records. <laughs> hey guys, Rainbow Dash. Why is Rarity doing your job? But Rarity doesn't even have wings. <laughs> so she's taking care of all the animals. <laughs> okay, so their cutie marks have been swapped, but that calls into question how all this works because I thought that their cutie marks came about based on what they did, what they enjoyed, and what they were good at. I didn't at all think that their cutie marks dictated what they did. Does that mean if Rarity decided that like she didn't want to make dresses anymore and instead she wanted to bake, she couldn't? Would her cutie mark change? No. I sort of just thought that their cutie mark was like a display of the essence of them. So I'm mildly confused why if their cutie mark swap, they're doing each other's jobs. Like it's not as though Rarity would just not enjoy making dresses anymore if her cutie mark changes, right? Is that how it works? These animals don't listen. No, not one little bit. Because you don't have their gift. Their hissy bits. <laughs> it's up She's like, where's my mother? What have you done with Fluttershy? They're trying to eat her? Oh, maybe they've like lost that. Uh, okay. Maybe they're not aware that their cutie mark. Okay. That, that would make so much more sense. She's like, it's what my cutie mark is telling me. Meaning that she's just listening to that because I'm guessing she somehow has lost her memory. I tried to <laughs> the idea of Fluttershy being Pinkie Pie is so wild. Seems a bit of a disgrace. I have to entertain. <laughs> she looks so sad doing it. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie mark Yo, this is actually Loki kind of sad. Oh god, who's gonna be? <laughs> she's got she's got her hair down like pink amino. Applejack is wait, she doesn't have someone else's? <laughs> her attempt to kick the tree. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Oh god, oh god. Applejack is sewing. Oh my lord. I think, I think that it's a dress. I mean, isn't it kind of just a, a dress if you want it to be a dress? I know it doesn't look like much, I'm under some distress. Yeah, this is just like sad and distressing for them all. It's not pretty, but it's what my cutie Mark is telling me. I mean, it makes sense. They, they only have one real indication of what they can do, right? Oh, she's using magic to... With weather patterns, but the others have concerns. <laughs> Fro <laughs> their sun burns. The power that she has is insane then. For everyone can see, it's got to be. Oh man, the harmonies again. And it's, what it's so dramatic, I love it. It's what my cutie mark. Yes, it's what my cutie oh my mark God. is telling me. The hill looks so concerned. Oh, that's the end. Oh my god. Well, you know, uh that was Slightly less feel good than the other songs, but it's cool. We need a bit of variety. What a strange concept there, but also I kind of love it. I really like when shows just try stuff, like get a bit weird and experimental with it. And the idea of all of their cutie marks and therefore their own internal sense of identity being switched is absolutely bonkers in the best way. It actually genuinely makes me want to watch that episode. <laughs> Maybe I should. Even if it's not for a video, that's how much that intrigued me. So overall, my assessment of My Little Pony songs is still exactly the same. They make me happy. They improve my mood. It's always a joy to do them, and I have absolutely zero problem with that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.